In this video, I will show you how to fix the error code 268 for Roblox. So this error is quite a new one, and to be honest, it's actually quite an easy fix. There's actually three different things you can try. Of course, the first thing you want to try is to reboot your computer. So if you are getting a message that keeps popping up, and it looks something like this, then the first thing to do is actually go ahead and reboot your computer. So if this does not work, then what we're going to do is try something else. And what you're going to want to do is come down to the search bar in the bottom left hand corner. And then you want to go ahead and type Roblox Player. So once this comes up with the app, what you want to do is right click onto this app. And you want to go ahead and click onto Open File Location. So this is going to go ahead and bring up a folder with the Roblox Player in. And then from here, you want to right click again onto Roblox Player. And then you want to click onto Properties. So from here, you're going to get some options at the top. So you can see you've got um, security, general, shortcut details. What you want to do is click onto compatibility. And then what you want to do is click onto the top option here. So under compatibility mode down here, you want to tick this box. And on the drop down box, you want to select Windows 7. And then what you want to do is the second box down here where it says settings, you want to actually tick the box that says to run this program as an administrator. And once that's done, just go ahead and click on to apply. Click OK. And then what you're going to want to do is again, right click on through box player. And what you want to do in this menu is look for something called troubleshoot compatibility. Go ahead and give that a click. So what it's going to do is just run a quick few checks on the Roblox player to see if it can detect any more issues with the compatibility. And after a second or two, after it's run the check, it's going to give you some options. What you want to do is click onto the try recommended settings option here. And it's going to actually test run the program to see if they've fixed the problems. So we're going to go ahead and click test the program. So what's going to happen if it actually starts up OK and you get the load up screen and everything loads up perfectly, then this would have fixed the problem and you will be able to start playing Roblox as normal. If for any reason this does not work, then what you're going to need to do, the best thing I could recommend is to actually reinstall the Roblox player. So to do this, again, it's very, very simple to do. If I just come out of here, cancel this. Um, so if you've run a compatibility test and things like that, nothing's working. What you're going to do is reinstall Roblox Player. So what you want to do is come down to the search box and you want to click on to add, remove, and then click onto this add or remove programs app, which comes up. So what's going to happen after a minute or two, it's going to bring up a page or a screen that's going to look similar to this. And what you can do is go ahead and uninstall Roblox Player from here. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did then make sure you do leave a like and comment down below and also be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials and with that being said I will see you guys in the next video.